Welcome J- to the VIP section. J- baby, y'all. We got a show for y'all today. Definitely, 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 definitely lit. Yeah. yeah. What's good, y'all? Yes. It's another day. Shay, baby. And yes, we all happy to be here, man. Happy to be here. This media shit done changed the game for a lot of people. Big facts. Loving it. A lot of people reaching out, reaching out to me on Instagram, also calling the phone. Yo, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. Getting booked for, for events. And just want to announce that we are going to have the first Shea Baby TV. I, I, I don't know if I want to say concert or if I want to say show or if I want to say showcase. We are going to have that. I think I'm going to, well, they want me to do it in September, but I'm thinking about pushing it to November because I just feel like, you know, I just want to put it together right because it's the first one and I really, you know, would like to do this. So, you know, I feel like I want to take my time, but the venue reached out to me and they told me they want me to do it. You know what I mean? And uh, I got to say, you know, shout out to losing is not an option. You know, he, re- you know, we reached out. We spoke before the summer jam. You know, they bought they booked Shea Baby, brought me to the table, had me do the behind the scenes, did our thing. Shout out to the staff. Shout out to the team. Big facts. We did our thing. And um, you know, since then, you know, it's been like different different media and different things that I never thought that we would be doing. You know what I mean? I didn't know where this was going to take us. But now I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the vision. I'm seeing the tunnel too. I'm seeing it now. You know what I mean? I'm seeing that they know what our power is. And that's to break records and break artists. And find new talent. That's a fact. They need us in the game. These guys are groupies out here. You know why? Because a lot of these people out here, they are fanned out off, you know, what, you know, the, 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 the industry beats in your head. Let's, let's start from there. So they need media bases that's not going to go for that. I don't want to hear that. You're not going to pay me that bag for play that garbage. I'm going to play what's hot on this platform. And you know what? Nobody can tell me different. Nobody can tell me different. I guarantee you the showcase is going to be nasty work. I'm guaranteeing it. That's a fact. Yeah, so I'm going to let y'all know when it's going to be. Of course, we're going to put it on YouTube. Um, You just saw the Westchester Summer Jam. Like I keep saying, it was fire. You know what I mean? We covered the, uh, you know, there was a couple of media bases there, but I don't see them out there. I don't see, I don't see none of the, um, you know, the, the footage floating around. Our footage is floating around. That's a fact. So shout out to the team. Like I said, we did our thing. Last Saturday at the Westchester Summer Jam. And shout out to all those that performed. And shout out to the people that came in peace. Had a little bit of drama at the end. But, you know, county, Westchester County Police was on that. That's one thing. When you come up to the Westchester Summer Jam, don't come up there to wow. I'm telling y'all, Westchester County Police is serious. Them dudes is ODs, huh? For real. You got the dogs on them at all times. It's nasty work. You don't want to play with them. I'm telling y'all that. So come up there to get that money, have some fun, and get out of there. That's a fact. (laughs) Yeah, so we got a good show for y'all today. Oh, I want to start the show off with this. I was a little bit, I want y'all to get in them comments, like, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this. I was watching another guy, I think his name was King Yella. King Yella, he was from Chicago. He's from the Nasty Gunther, you know what I mean? He's been out there. Like I like King Yella. I watch him on YouTube. I like him. Dude is funny to me. You know what I mean? But he's not, you know what I mean? He'll knock you out. And he'll, you know, he he will handle his business. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what I mean? King Yellow came up from, you know, it was nasty over there at this time, and he was in the middle of all of it. So I'm watching him, him talk, and I hear him say something about King Vaughn 
was not killed by Lil Tim. I'm hearing that he's saying that the police killed him. What's going on here, man? So Lil Tim gets off for this for this murder. They saying that he didn't even pull no trigger or nothing, and that the bullet that killed King Vaughn was from the police. So it seems like the police let off a shot when they heard a shot, and I guess that shot hit King Vaughn. I guess the shot that Lil Tim shot at, maybe he pulled out, maybe not even to kill. He just pulled out to shoot to let niggas know, get back up. You feel me? That That's what it's seeming like. That's what King Yella is saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's seeming like. You know, I don't want to put these words in so much in King Yella's mouth, but that's pretty important. But that's pretty much what the dude was saying. That the police killed King Vaughn. You know, I don't know if he was well, if he was playing or if he was capping. I don't know. But I don't see him getting on YouTube because he's a big time YouTuber and getting on there saying false, you know, false BS like that. So I need y'all to get in the comments, like and subscribe too. That's a big key. You know, I see guys on their YouTube, they won't even get to the next topic unless you hit the like button. You know, I'm still learning the game. I don't even know what that's about. I'm just doing my thing. That's a fact. You know, I tell people that we work with, I say, yo, don't worry about the bag. The bag is going to, the bag comes, the bag chases you. I don't care about that. I care about breaking the platform, and that's what we're doing. That's a fact. But yeah, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. That's you know. I got to read up on that some more. But they saying that the bullet was by, killed by the police. Dude got off. He walked from a murder charge. That's crazy. That's crazy. I never heard about n nothing like that before. You know, you get accused from a murder. Three years later, they come to find out that you didn't even kill him. The police did. That's wow. That's new to me. So I'm gonna do some research on that and let y'all know what I, you know what, you know what King Yellow was talking about. You know, like I said, King Yellow's from out there. He don't have, he knows everything when it comes to that shit out there. I'm telling you, especially with them type of dudes, his ears to the streets. He's from the streets, man. You know, he said he got a big house in Vegas and all this right now, but he's chilling. You know what I mean? And we know we spoke with King Yellow too. Um, uh, um, you know, work some things out with him. We will be sitting with King Yellow pretty soon. You know. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We ain't even got to sit down. We got to talk. You know, I don't really want to talk too much about, you know. So I want to talk to him about his music that he got right now. Basically. Because he does put out um, songs, you know what I mean? Even though they're diss songs and he's still getting at niggas and all that. But still, you know, he still is obvious. He's pushing music. So let's talk about that music, King Yella. That's a big fact. All right, so let's move on. Drake reveals for the All Dogs cover art designed by his son, Adonis. Okay, that's cool. You know, I don't know how I got to see what the artwork look like because I'm just sitting here. I'm like, you know, okay, it looks like a little kid could have drew that. Yeah, that's fire. I got to give it to Drake. I like stuff like that. You know, this is what the game is about. If you get, like I said yesterday morning, if you get into the game to think about you, and you only, you're in the wrong game. It's lonely at the top. You know, so for him to have his kid, have his son, you know, you always, you can see him, you always take him to the games with him, to the front row with him, you know, this, you know, Drake is different, you know, Drake is superstar status, you know, come on, let's be for real. So, Drake, you know, being that Drake brings the son and everything with him, and Let's, uh, you know, uh, he seems like he spends, he's a good dad. He spends time with him. And, you know, he, he took an artwork that he did. Probably the kid probably drew it for him, gave it to him. Said, I'm going to put this as my album cover. Fire. Album's going to sell 10 million. <laughs> let's be for real. You know what I mean? So, let's keep it real. If it wasn't the truth, he wouldn't be saying it. That's what I think. You know, why would you lie on your child like that? You know what I'm saying? That's just the, the bottom of the barrel. Like, sitting there just lying about, you know, your kid doing a drawing, to, you know, to get sympathy sales. You know, I don't think Drake needs sympathy sales. He's going to sell regardless. He's going to sell regardless. You know, Drake is powerful in the game. Let's keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I don't see why wouldn't he get all the billions of streams that he's getting on his next album. 
You know everybody's waiting for this album to come out. This is Drake. Let's be for real. This is Drake. This is Young Money. This is Cash Money. This is all of that. Big time, big record deals and record companies behind him that own slots. I'm going to make sure these records are streaming for life. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Now, think about it. You the record label, right? You have the ability to make something a hit at any time, right? Once a song is better in your head and is beat in your brain, right? Pause. You are accustomed to that song because they beat in your head. So now once they beat it in your head, it becomes a song that's in your mind forever. You hear it when it comes on regardless if you hate it. How many songs have you hated but you remember it all the way for the rest of his life? You know what I'm saying? So that's how they get you to get it, you know, get these guys that have billions of streams and, you know, it's all an illusion in the game. And you guys fall for it. I don't fall for it. If my ears say it's trash, I'm never listening to it again. That's it. Care who you are. You could be the best artist in the world that thought that you loved you. If that song was trash, I will never play it again. And that's a fact. There's no reason for me to sit here and tell you anything different. I'm telling you the truth. If the shit is trash, I'm not playing it. That's a fact. Yeah, man, it's a lot of shit going on, man. A lot of shit going on. All right, so J. Cole, 21 Savage, and more to feature on Burner Boy's new album. That's another hit album. You got J. You got J, J. Cole and 21 Savage. You see the same guys are on the same records. The same people that's with the same people is, you know, so they can make a, you know, big, billions of stream hit. You know, it makes sense. You know, nowadays it's like you got to put the right people on the right songs so you get the right type of, you know, fugazi push. Especially if you burn a boy, burn a boy is big and what, you know, I think he's from Africa and all of this. So if 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 he got these guys on the record, that's going to make their records even stream even more in Africa. So now they're going to be promoting music in Africa even more now. You know, you ever see the Africa show? These guys be having 200,000 people at the show. Come on, man, this is nasty. You know, imagine performing in the jungle with 200,000 people. You wouldn't know what to do. You go out there as an artist, you scared to death. You're not even coming out the back. You say, I'm good. Keep that money. You driving up to the show. You got these guys all up in the car. They can snatch you up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So come on. There's the money in Africa. So you gotta you got you know you gotta you gotta say 21 Savage and J. Cole, you know, this is big for them jumping on this record. They're gonna be performing in Africa real soon. You know what I mean? So that's the key of being an artist, man. You know, you want to get to this level where you could be on records that's going to be worldwide hits. You want to get to the point where you are one of these artists that, you know, going to be worldwide. Not just in Chicago or New York. You need to be worldwide. Why are you doing music to just be nice in Brooklyn or Chicago or Harlem or something like that? You know what I mean? Or, or, or East L.A.? What are we doing here? The whole point of this is, is to get to the next level. And I'm pretty sure y'all know that, though. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure y'all know that. But I'm just keeping it I'm just keeping it real. You know? So I'm not mad at 21 Savage and J. Cole. You know, they thirsty to be on this record right now. That's a fact. All right. Glorilla goes full YOLO as she urges fans to be toxic for the rest of the, the 2000s. Yo, listen, man. Glorilla's good money. You know what I mean? I like her music. I think she's doing her thing. You know, she ain't trash in the game. You know what I mean? But sometimes these female artists, you know, they just need to just say, you know what? We could be ladylike for once. So, right, we we know we our chains are bigger than these guys right now. You know, back in the days, 
female, you never saw a female walk around with a chain bigger than a, a male artist. You know, they had little chokers on, you know. Now these females walking around with 30 chains on like Slick Rick. You know, so, you know, they feeling real manly. I can't lie. They, you know, they making be- better records, it seems like right now. You know, they went and cop- copping more jewelry. They getting paid just as much because you got to remember, the females bring out more females and more, you know, the L- you know, you know them people. So they, them people spend more money. Let's keep it real. They spend more money. And you know the guys, they're going to go where they know all the girls is at. So the girls are feeling stuff the female rappers. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. When we play them on the radio, we is a different, it's, 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 it hit different. You know what I'm saying? It hit different when, when, when the females play. Get, get the burn and get, you know, we can see the airwaves going up. You know, people, you know, hitting the buttons and, you know, the comments on on digiwaxradio.com. We can see that. We can see that. So we know who's who. We know who's, you know, at, at you know, that the females are doing their thing. There you go. You know what I mean? So, but the moral of the story is she wants y'all to wild out for the rest of, for the, rest of the 2000s. <laughs> Instead of. Be at ease and relaxing, and let's just try to get through all of this. You know what I mean? She she's one shot a while, man. That's a fact. So, Complex drops the top fifty rappers of New York. First, we started with the twenty five. Now they went and dropped the top fifty. You know they probably dropped the top fifty because you had guys like me bashing them on. How could you even not have some of these guys not even on the list? I don't even want to see that list now. My man Kev Egger said that to me. I said, Kev, this is trash. I don't want to see this because. I already know these guys as clowns because as soon as I opened it up, the first one they had, number 50, is Ice Spice. I said, I can't see no more. I already know where they're going with this, man. It goes back to what I was telling y'all before. These guys are paying for these slots. These guys are paying for these opinions. These guys are paying for these, you know, to be on this list. Who the hell is complex? Y'all listening to that nonsense? Like I said, Shea Baby TV make his top 50 list. Y'all better listen to me, man. That's a word. That's word. Because I don't know who's making that list, man. I've been listening to hip hop enough that I feel like I can make a better list than them. Who's making that list, man? That's all I'm saying. Not, nothing against. Like I said, there's no beef with anybody who made the list. I'm just saying I didn't like the like t- Ice Spice number fifty. Come on, fam. What we doing here? Don't get me wrong. She's streaming. Like I said, Ice Spice, Ice, who don't like Ice Spice? Let's keep it real. But am I failing her lyrically? No. Not on the top 50 list. Are you bugging? Are you bugging? That's crazy. I never understood why these people be doing these, you know, like I feel like anybody from like, the past five years shouldn't even be on the list, period. If you ask me, you know, nothing against them dudes. But I just thought you can't just be putting niggas on the top 50 list just because they streaming and got a big ass chain right now and driving a Bentley. Because all these niggas that you talking about but did, did been there, done all of that, man, a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? That shit just, it, it just gets to me how complex could really sit there and, you know, make these lists up without even, you know, like, I feel like you need to be sending these out to the platforms, man. You know what I mean? You need to be sending these out to the platforms. Let me, let me okay, or let me sign that off. Because I would have said, I would have ripped that shit up and said, you do this again, fam. That will never be the top 25 list. You do this again. That's what I'm saying. They don't want guys like me. That's why I've started my own platform because I feel like, yo, I can't, I, like, I can't even work for them. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? You get in a bag, you going home, you feeling good. You know, yeah, I just got to pay for Ferrari. You think you really that nigga, right? No, you're not. You're, you know what I mean? You're, you're goofy because you're sitting there and okay in this list to go out because for a check. This list is no good, man. That's bad work, son. That shit is no good. I'm telling y'all that. Top 50 list, Ice Spice number 50, right there off the spot. Right there, they started off wrong. No good. 
No good. No bueno. Facts. Telling y'all straight up. Shea Baby TV is saying that. Complex list. No good. Like I said, I have no problem with complex. They're a platform. They doing their thing. I'm just saying that list. That's it. If you hate me for saying that, that list, so be it. Fuck it. Do my thing. I'm a platform too. I'm not even worried about it. I'm standing on it. Just saying that list is Fugazi, son. That's all I'm saying. Nothing else. Get in them comments. Like and subscribe. Let me know. If you saw those, if you saw the top 50 artists from New York City list, let me know, please. I need to know this because this is who they're saying, you know, is top 25 and top 50 in New York City artists. They didn't even have Melly Mel on the top 25. Why? Because he went against Eminem and that's your buddy? So you don't even put him on a list? Get out of here. White lines? Gotta be on that list. What's wrong with these dudes? I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel some type of way y'all not putting Melly Mel on there. Might have to sit down with Melly Mel. We're going to have to talk about this, man. Word. We got to find Melly Mel. I told y'all before, months ago, Melly Mel is my man. You'll never believe it. I did a song with Melly Mel. You don't got to believe it. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you the truth. And then you know what? When I sit down with Melly Mel, I'm going to have him confirm it. I'm going to have him confirm it. You see these plaques behind us? Melly Mel is my pop's man. Are you serious? That's a fact. So I'm not defending Mel because he's family. I'm defending Mel because Mel is hip-hop. He's got to be on that list. That's like not having, like, Magic Johnson and all of these niggas, Chamberlain and them niggas in the top 25 list. You bugging? You bugging? Come on, man. They did my man Melly Mel dirty. All right, so since we on Melly Mel, let's move it up a couple of years, man. You know, let's move it up a couple of decades, actually. So Havoc confirms new Mob Deep album and Met the Man Project. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Woo. Mob Deep and Met the Man? I know this is years later. I don't know how this is going to sound. But off the back for a guy like me, that sounds good. If Havoc can give me those... um. Those beats from the early 2000s, late 90s, 99-ish. If you can give me that Hell on Earth tracks, I'm in. I'm in. I need Havoc to go back. I don't want to hear no 2023 Havoc beats. I want him to go back to the Gunther. I want to hear that dirt, man. That's a fact. I want to hear them Tims with blood on it. That's what I need. That's what I need. So I'm in with that album. If Havoc can, if Havoc is producing the whole album and he's getting and he's getting dirty on there, I'm in for that. I think Met the Man got something to say too, so we want to hear that album. That's a fact. So, um, yeah, man. You know, um, that's it for, for for today, man. It's Wednesday. We we had enough going on, man. It's enough going on. Man. I was sitting over here. I was drinking coffee today. That's why I was kind of had a lot. I was fired up today. Telling you, Complex gets to me, man. Like I said, I don't got no beef with them. This is not no platform war. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm willing to sit down with Complex just to talk to them about that. And, and they, there would be no beef. I would sit down with any one of them dudes. And I would tell them straight up, like, yo, look, I never had no problem with y'all. I just don't like that list. I need to sit down and talk with the guy who made the list. That's what I'm saying. So he comes sit with me. And that's why I tell him, I say, yo, fam, this list, how much you made off this list, B? Come on, man. You got Ice Spice number 50. I can't respect that. I can't respect that. If you got Ice Spice number 50, you better have Foxy and Little Kim in top 10. That's what I'm saying. How you making this list? Ain't doing shit like this. Because you know... I, am I right? If Ice Spice is number 50, where's Nikki, Kim, and Foxy? You got all three of them in the top 10? That's what I'm saying. Shay Baby TV number 50 start off. It might be Foxy Brown number 50. I'm going to keep it real with you. And she's serious. 
My list don't play. I'm not even there playing around with these. Uh, you know what I mean? I got to hear the bars. I got to see what you did for the game. I got to see, you know, I don't care how you, you turn around, just twerk your ass in the camera. I don't care about that. I want to see what, 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 what you did in the game. I need to see what respect in the game, what tours you went on in the game. I need to see that. See, that's what I'm saying. Back in these days, you know, you got to respect that. These niggas was on the Hard Knock Life tour. You, saw, you know, all these tours, the Cash Money tours. These niggas was thugs outside, man. These were big time tours, tour buses. Tour buses. Sleeping on a bus, state to state. That's what I'm saying. I, I got, I, you know, these niggas getting on layer jets, going from place to place, you know what I mean? FaceTiming people, doing shows on Instagram Live, all of this. I can't respect that. Like I said, these niggas wanted to go make tour money, had to get on a bus with 100 niggas, knuckle up like you in fucking jail. Niggas eating your food, playing around with your bed, pouring water on you. You went through the grind for that tour money. You went for the grind for that tour money. Let's not talk about MC Hammer. MC Hammer had five tour buses flooded with niggas. That's what I'm saying. I can't respect number 50. But we're going to talk about this tomorrow morning, man. You know what I mean? We know it's early. It's lit. It's your man Shea Baby TV. It's Wednesday. It's 9.30 in the morning already. Y'all enjoy your morning. We'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. We ain't done with you, Complex. We ain't done. Shea Baby. (laughs) Shea Baby TV. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning.